Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today we're going to take a look at how we can copy our Nintendo DS games to our Nintendo DSi console and I'm currently running off the Twilight menu with Haya custom firmware and it's working just great. So here is the game and we're going to run that real quick so you can see it works just fine and it's being read off the SD card here and I'm using a micro SD card within an adapter and it appears to be working just fine no problem and you can see there's no game cartridge in slot 1 now when it comes to your saved uh, data files it will not copy those over using this method so all we're going to be copying is just the game itself no save states whatsoever so if you are looking to get some of those save states I'll have another video so let's get started so we will have to connect our SD card to our PC and I am using this SD adapter for micro SD card and it's working just great and here is a USB dongle that reads SD cards so it reads memory stick pro duos for the PSP it reads micro SD cards and regular SD cards and much more too so this is a very nice little powerful dongle and I'll have a link to this product in the description down below so let's get this connected to our PC and head on over to copy some files over here we are on our desktop and this is my DSi card my SD card the disk drive ready to go and you want to head on over to the first link in the description and that'll take you to gbatemp.net, a forum. And this user here, A. Hazard, a member of this forum, uh, ported over the uh, wood dump program, the wood dumper for Haya. And we're going to be downloading this file here. So click on that link, open up, show in folder. Perfect. And you will need 7-zip in order for you to extract these files. And I'll have a link to that program in the description down below as well. So extract files. Perfect. And we'll just use the same location, the same uh, downloads folder. And we can get rid of this 7-zip file. And let's get our folders ready here to copy over what we need. And let's go into this folder and we'll go into this folder and we'll go into this folder and now we have two different folders what we want to copy is just the content uh, folder here we don't want the data we don't need that so what we're gonna do is just rename that to wood dumper and we'll copy that right into the root of our SD card perfect now let's get back on our DSi and copy that game over. All right, so here we go. The SD card ready to go with Wood Dumper. And let's throw that into our console. There we go. And power that baby on. And I'll have my game ready to go here. The Soul Silver, Pokemon Soul Silver. Alright, ready to go here. Now we're going to go and see what we got for our wood dumper. There it is. We can start that. And you can see that the program is ready to go. And it's called Wood Slot 2 Dumper Modified for 3DS. Let's start the program. And when I first installed this homebrew, I just threw in the folder and I had to go within that folder, I had to go within that folder and just keep going down the folders there just to find the program and run it. So uh, it's a lot easier for you if you just do it the way I'm showing you here and just start the program. At the top we have version R89 and at the bottom it says set a target card. So let's press A, OK. And before you hit A you must have your game in slot one obviously and you can see it's starting to dump the game files onto your SD card so you want to make sure you have a fully charged battery 
That way it doesn't power off during this process and doesn't brick your console because you could potentially brick your system if you know you're doing something like this and it powers off on its own and you just don't want that to happen so the risk there just make sure to always charge your console because you never know whenever you'll brick your system and I know a lot of people are going to be in the comment section saying hey this is not going to brick your console if it just dies and you're just copying a game over and that's just not the case there's so many rare instances where someone forgets to charge their console and they're doing something and it turns off and you just want to make sure you have that fully charged battery and let the dumping tool do its thing so here we have reading header card ID header readied readied readed I think that's incorrect reading secure area secure area okay secure area readied R readed <laughs> That's so weird. Card device, zero by zero, and init finished. Dumped, and the number of bytes. And I believe this card was around 100, a little over 100 megabytes, or a little over a, a 200 megabytes. So it's not that large of a game. And if you're rocking a 64 gigabyte or a 32 gigabyte, SD card you should be fine copying most of these games over because they just don't take up a lot of space. Once the program finishes dumping the game I'll show you how the file looks on your SD card on the PC and that way you can rename it and keep everything organized. Okay so it is finished. You should see a dump success with all the bytes and it now says extract card and it says set a target card, press A for OK, and you can continue to dump your game. So if you have like five ready to go, you can take this one out, throw the other card in, and copy them over. Let's go back home by pressing the power button. And this will take us back to the Twilight menu. And I apologize for the way the camera is picking up the DSi here is just so hard to capture this black on the camera and it's just a weird I'm just not used to um, recording off uh, something like this I'm, I'm usually using the lighter colors even with the PSP Go and, and the uh, regular piano black PSP it's just so hard to pick up those colors let's go back and you should see the Soul Silver or whichever game you copied right there. There it is, Pokemon Soul Silver, ready to go. Nice. And there is our wood dumper. So you can continue to dump your games and have fun with that. So now let's go onto our PC and see the actual files on our SD card. Back on our PC, here is the DSi SD card, and we have a new file, which is the 202709-18-22-28-whatever. So this is the Soul Silver game, and I will rename this to Soul. Let's do Pokemon. Pokemon Soul Silver. Perfect. And you can always tell because it should end .nds. And you can see this one is 128 megabytes. It doesn't take too much space. So it's really good. It's an awesome little homebrew for you to copy all of your games. And that way you have your entire collection on your SD card without breaking out the cartridges. So that is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please comment down below. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys on the next one.